In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory be to Jesus Christ. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, last night at Vespers, as we began this great feast of the Feast of Palms, we sang several times the refrain. Excuse me. We sang several times the refrain, Blessed, the grace of the Holy Spirit has assembled us together. And lifting up thy cross, we sing, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. And we have finished the 40 days of Great Lent, and we long for a joyful feast. And this feast seems to be exactly what we're looking for. But we need to remember that in addition to being the feast of the triumphal entry of Christ into Jerusalem, this feast is also called Passion Sunday because it leads us into the great and holy week of the passion and death of our Lord. And so we might wonder, how do things go from Hosanna in the highest to crucify him, crucify him, in a matter of just a few short days before the end of this week. What we have to remember is that the joyful people with the palms and we are not the only ones watching the events unfolding in Jerusalem. The scribes and the Pharisees are watching also, and they know their scriptures. And they see what John the theologian tells us, that what is unfolding is spoken of by Zechariah the prophet. Rejoice, O daughter of Zion, your king is coming to you with salvation, humbly riding on, the, on a donkey, the foal of a beast of burden. But the Pharisees see this as simply a reenactment of the scripture. And they think this is blasphemy because the king of the daughter of Zion riding on the donkey is the Messiah. And they will not accept that about Jesus. And to make matters worse, the people are shouting Hosanna, which we think of as the Greek word that's a shout of joy. But Hosanna is based on the Hebrew phase, phrase Hoshiana, which means, O oh Lord, save us. It's Israel's prayer to the Messiah that he might save them and restore the kingdom to Israel. And this is the last straw for the Pharisees. And they now are looking for a way to put Christ to death and put an end to this blas blasphemous presentation. But they don't know what we know, that next week, this humble king, having endured everything that they throw at him this week, will rise from the dead and raise all the righteous with him. And he will indeed save his people, Israel. Brothers and sisters, let us never forget what he does for us this week. Let us never, by our words and actions, by our inaction and our doubt, ever align ourselves in any way with those who would cry, crucify him, crucify him. But let us always, with our loving thoughts and deeds, and with the, the strength of the faith in our hearts, always shout with great joy, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Christ is in our midst. Jesus,
Christos has ready us.